Today's project starts off in the small turret lathe. Here I'm making what uh, I'm going to call the feet or the rollers. These are the parts uh, that actually come in contact with the uh, with the part or with the table of whatever it's mounted to. It's a half inch stainless steel. Just setting it to length, drilling, parting, and filing the edges before I finish the part off. When the parts come off of here, they're pretty much done, with the exception of a small burr on the back side. And you can see that burr here. So what we'll do is just set up this lathe again with a small stop. Pop them in there one at a time and just countersink that hole. And that's it. These parts are done. Maybe a, a dozen or so total. Less than 20 minutes. Once you get the turret lathe set up, it, it really cranks out some parts. So the next piece, this is the uh, going to be the body. This is a piece of quarter inch cold rolled in the mill. I'm only cutting part way through here because I want to chamfer the edge of all these pieces and I found that if, uh, if you get rid of some of the excess material before you chamfer the, uh, the tool will last longer. At least that's been my experience. And to finish these parts off, I bolted them to a hastily made fixture plate, which gave me a little bit of trouble. As you'll see later on, I think it's because I made it out of aluminum. And the threads just, uh, they just didn't bite, and all the parts came loose. But I caught it before I spoiled all of them. Only the one on the far left, uh, it was too late for that one, so I had to remake that one over. So this here is just a finishing pass, and I just I, I fought those screws the whole time. If I make any more, I'm going to have to make a steel fixture plate. So it's back to the turret lathe again for what I'm going to call the pivot. This is just a piece of round stainless. All I'm doing is parting it off and deburring those edges. Now I've got it in the mill here. I'm going to put a flat on the top using the Superfly. You'll see what that's for once it's assembled. The Superfly cut through that stainless, but I don't think it liked it very much. So that's it for this part, aside from a, a burr around the bottom side of the hole here, it's done as well. 
So here's all the pieces, the pieces of the body and the pivot, hardware, the feet, and some spacers that I just bought. I didn't make those. And of course, you can see I painted the body black just to keep that rust uh, body from rusting because it was plain carbon steel. So there you can see I got a pair of them. Let's uh, let's try one out and see how it holds. So here you can see it uh, it'll bolt pretty much from zero to an inch and a half bar there. You can even spin it around if you got uh, some height issues. So I'm, I'm pulling on that pretty good and it's it's not budging. But if I pull on one side. Get some leverage on it. It'll move. It's still not easy, but it'll move. I think if, uh, if I think if I were to put two on here on this side, uh, I don't think I'd be able to move it at all. Now I did have a concern about these rollers marking into the uh, the table and the part, so I went ahead and made myself an aluminum version with some square feet basically the uh, the feet have built-in pads because they still pivot but uh, it's not likely that that's gonna dig in or mar anything but anyway that's it thanks for watching